You know what? Your husband sleeps in the pool house. I'm secure in my marriage, so it doesn't bother me where the he sleeps. I know, whether it's in his girlfriend's bed or not. You better shut the up Word on the street. You better shut the up with that! Hit a nerve. Have you really not heard anything about Jen's marriage, or was it just something that you had kind of put together yourself? I put it together myself, and I said it to her to be obnoxious, because she said, well, we keep secrets. We don't put things on blast. And when she said, well, we keep secrets, I was like, ooh, is there a secret? So I was just like, it, it snapped in my head. I said, oh, like your husband's girlfriend? I never heard her husband's girlfriend. I don't know anything about that. But it was just like, well, what kind of secrets? Every, you know? So I said that her reaction, I don't know what the public's gonna think about that reaction. Because if someone said to me, oh, well, Joe has a girlfriend, I, I would think that's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. I'd be like, <laughs> I wouldn't have that reaction. P.S. When she came back to the table, I immediately apologized. I know nothing about your marriage. I said that to hurt you. I'm sorry. I don't want to, you know, even that out there in the universe. And I was like, I said that to hurt you. Whatever. A lot of people said that about my husband. You know, so I don't like that Margaret said that don't about say it unless you Jennifer's have proof. husband. Yeah, unless you have proof. And, and Teresa would always say that to me. She goes, you know what, bring me bring me the proof. Don't yeah. talk about something and not have anything to back yeah, it up. Yeah, like everyone always says. And that's I feel why like she you've gone took, through it, that you That's know why what Teresa like took it so personal for you. Yeah. So that's why you were sticking up. When somebody yeah, said no, it about my husband, like they were that. telling the truth. We've heard that you have a Margaret impression. Oh, 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 oh. That's Margaret. The flowers, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they're just so amazing. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, Joe, could you fix the walls already, please? I mean, it's only been a year since the finale. Oh my god, oh my god. If I could move my lips more, you would see the accentuate. A Danielle impression. Uh, Marty, Marty, give me give me your credit card. I gotta go shopping. Uh, uh, oh, oh, have you ever seen anything like this? Oh my god, oh! Uh, Teresa, Teresa. I mean, you know what? When you caused me that, you ruined my life. When you called me a prostitution whore. We do stop already. Stop. Oh, Danielle, please. Uh, 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 uh. My daughters, my daughters. Did you see my daughters? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Your impressions are actually fairly similar to each other's impressions. Oh, I know, so I know. Funny. I mean, it's so fun. I mean, I'm sure. Listen, I don't even care. I have people that I care about, and you know what? I don't see your children anywhere, so don't ever talk about me. If you'd spend a little time By the way, with your kids, kids, maybe they'd still be here. Maybe you'd see your grandkids, and maybe, just maybe, you'd have a relationship By with the them. Way, kids oh. are off limits, Danielle. You They're don't even know my kids. And Nobody the children knows your just... kids. They're nowhere around. Yeah, they, they are around, but they friends. wouldn't be around you. They're, They're around me a lot. You. Let me tell They're you something. They're not around you. you they are not around you. Get Danielle. over it. If you'll notice in that clip, I'm not sure if you noticed, I was trying to get drunk because I knew what this was going to bring. I had six shots of tequila. I know. I, I, I was lining I them up because with, the most with every the dig, the trip. digs were getting deeper and deeper. At that point, I was just hoping somebody blew up the restaurant. Maybe Danielle is just bitter from, like, Margaret. She feels like Margaret dropped her like a hat, so she's angry and maybe bitter towards that. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come at you now. You piss me off. And I'm gonna bring up things that are gonna hurt your feelings because it you hurt me. Her. I mean, yeah, and like it's not like Danielle's like, oh, she dropped. Like, I mean, Margaret was up her ass, and like, you know, and Danielle was really there for her la the year before. So yeah, it, it's like a betrayal feeling. So right. Wanna, that relationship right. ended that, as quick that as it started. Me off too. And you know, you can't expect a lot from a relationship that there's not a lot of history from. What do you guys think is worse? Bringing up that someone's kids don't talk to them or throwing a glass of wine? In that situation, what was the- Bringing up that someone's kids don't talk to them. What she said to me was so below the belt. She, I, she's lucky that's all I did was throw a glass of wine her. It's not that she brought up that my kids don't talk to me. She was saying vicious, hurtful things. For what? What does that have to do with her? That was not in the context of the argument. That has nothing to do with why we don't get along. That's the only thing she could say to me. What does that have to do with our relationship? You that's don't. Like, we, we all have yeah, a golden rule yeah, here. You, you don't, don't, don't go after somebody's kids. kids. And that's hurtful. You know, it's already. You already know when you're going through well, something. Well, she hit her hurts. in a very on a very visceral level because. She knows what that means to Margaret. Danielle knew what she was doing. She was pushing and pushing until she, she hit that button. I, I mean, I'm always on my wife's side, but even if I was not my wife's side, say it was, it was Melissa doing it, you should never, ever, ever throw on kids. 
I doesn't matter. Who, doesn't matter whose kids. Listen, Could be your kids, your kids, your you kids. Bring doesn't up matter. My kids, you're getting more than wine thrown on you. So, kudos to Margaret. Yeah, she held back because that's a sore subject. She made a statement. I'm saying Through she should wine, have been a, a little statement. bit more dirtier than uh, that. But Talk Mar about my but, kids. Uh, but that's not take, Mar take the high road. But you know what? You can't go. You, Danielle. There's no high road. She when hit it comes below to the kids. belt. She wanted that glass of wine yeah. in her face. And her kind of dress with the tags on it. I'd do it again. <laughs> Ten times over. <laughs> I can't. And I'd leave with you every thank time. Thank you, thank you. And you know what the best part was? Teresa was wearing a white dress next to her, and I threw the one. It was so graceful. It was like, and it didn't even get didn't on Teresa. That one. Isn't that amazing? Very good. Good aim. Amazing aim. Very skilled. Very skilled. Lake drink Lake. suck. Oh my god, this girl's starting to bang them out. <laughs> Teresa hasn't been able to have a shot in six months. I mean, why is she feeding them to Jennifer? She needs to take the shot. That's why we're here. Another one, let's go. You crazy girl. Why do you want to wake the beast? Yeah, I just, I saw how she was reacting on alcohol and I was like, it's actually not fun and there's nothing really that cute about it. So I'm Ooh. like, I'm like, listen, uh, as much as I like to inspire people to have alcoholic beverages and, and, and adult beverages and have a good time, I realize that she's not one of them. So I was no longer encouraging her to drink alcohol because I didn't see the plus side in it. Teresa evidently likes the crazy. She's an uh, instigator. Yeah. Why, after what happened the night before, why I always you, get it going. You just wanted to get her started? Yes. I mean, she could. She's fine. Well, like it. She was drinking finally, and she probably we didn't go was away like, for you know nothing. What? I know. We're in Mexico. We went away we to have, have a good have time. Tequila, tequila it's a lot corona. to go away. I got to find somebody to watch my dogs. I got to leave with all this guilt. Everybody's got kids. I just don't want her like. I don't want her husband knowing that I did that. No, we can't. No, I don't care. I'll get for it. He won't because care. don't worry, Dolores gets blamed no, for everything. No, you know what we'll do. He asked me why his wife says profanities now. Meanwhile, uh, she's the one giving her to kill uh, We'll go out it. around here and I'll get her nice and drunk and then oh, she'll yeah, go baby. home and please. That's and right. Please her honey and then she'll be yeah. really happy. <laughs> yeah. Teresa and Jen, do you remember after all those shots at dinner that you guys got flirty with each other at all? Who got flirty? I like your juicy ego. lips. You do? Yes. I'm giving you an alter ego. Do I need to get between you two? The very shiny, glossy, and inviting. I think she's gonna honk me. No, no, it was good. It was actually really good. Oh, but maybe, oh I, maybe not to watch. Maybe I wanted to. Kiss he might her. like it. Maybe I wanted to maybe kiss your monkey ass. Maybe she wanted to kiss the monkey. Maybe I wanted to kiss those. She monkeys. wanted to suck the honey. I know. Maybe I wanted those lips down somewhere else. Oh my god. Hey, she hasn't gotten them in a long time. It's not my cup of tea, but it's not. I'll buy you a rabbit. <laughs> She'll buy me her and the rabbit. I mean. I got five little cock blockers in my bed sometimes. My husband works a lot. What to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Love this guy. <laughs> when he comes home, then we'll see how it is. You're going to see because the leopard doesn't always change his spots. He might be a little soft spoken and humbled now. Well, just like but let him get a little comfortable at home, okay, Teresa. So, wait, what are you, what are you trying to say? That you, he's going to go back to his old ways? Uh, he's going to try. I think Joe took Teresa for granted a lot of times. He expects everything to be done. She takes care of the kids. She's got to go do blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh. He will still want the old Teresa. But once a woman gets to the point where she's at, she's not going back. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I think that obviously a lot has changed. They have a lot of time separated at this point from when Teresa was at home and they were only home together for a couple months and then he wasn't home. So it's a lot of time as a married couple to do things apart and independently. So there was decisions now where Teresa doesn't look to anyone for an answer and she kind of just makes the decision on her own. So I think when she realizes like her, you know, there's a partner that comes back in and he's gonna wanna be like, all right, listen, I'm the man and yada, 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 like he's used to. I don't know that she's gonna be like, okay, and just bow down. I think that um, it's gonna be an adjustment. You know, three years makes a big difference in children's lives. Yeah. They are very independent now and they find their way, Gia has her own license, and Teresa does not have to be home as much as she did at one time, for the most part. And her father also lives there too, which is a big help. So she, you know, she's put her time in. The kids are a little older. Joe coming home is not coming home to the same Teresa he left. Just saying. I, you know, I asked my sister a question. I said, listen, what's gonna happen when Joe comes home? You're this different person. You know, you, you, you're, you, I, I see you definitely different and you like to go out a little bit more and 
you're not the same Tracy. You know what she said to me? She goes, no. When my husband comes home, I'm going to be with him, and I'm going to go out with him. Maybe it's a good thing for him, right? Teresa, yeah, how do you feel? I have no idea. Am I wrong? I will deal with that when it happens. I mean, I don't know for a fact. Nobody really knows for a fact right now, but I feel like, you know, I'm sure people have do a lot of thinking yeah. when they have all that kind I of time. I think when you're in jail, how could you not change? When I went to see Joe, he's more mellow. Prison he's, is way humble in your mouth. He's humble. He's way different. And I think he's going to be a different guy, yes. He's gonna under, he's gonna respect life in a different way. You know, he's definitely changed also, so. He's been around the same group of people that he was around for so long, that had the same ways and the same things, and you know, you, you it's his college. When people go away to college, they get out of the people they've grown up around and been raised around, so. I like the way it moves. My cha-cha is getting a massage. Yes, you're in the and right spot. It's been a while. <laughs> You pointed out that your camel toe is getting a camel toe. A camel <laughs> ride. <laughs> oh, honey, I was just like grooving with it. Yeah. It was like all in the hips, and I enjoyed it. I can't, <laughs> can't lie. It was kind of a little orgasmic. <laughs> saying. <laughs> Our humps were right in the hump. No, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, the camels were fun it riding. Cute. It was just, it was nice. We rode on the beach. It was nice. The camels, we were all getting along at that point. I felt That's like nice. Margaret of Arabia. My my dress was like blowing in the breeze. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. It was like a peaceful event. It was scary to put all the girls together throughout that whole trip because something always went wrong and that was actually a nice little outing that we had. Mm -hmm. The camels made me a little nervous. <laughs> But me too. My God, I'm terrified. Just get it over with. You gotta make peace with the animal you before you ride on its ahead. back. I'm gonna tell you where her fear of animals comes from. When I was seven, she was nine. Our father had a paper route, right? I mean, we weren't rich kids. We were middle class, he was a shoemaker. But on the side, he delivered newspapers at four o'clock in the morning and we would go with him. He made us go with him. And that what made us these workaholic people that we are. But you know, at, when you're going at four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, there's dogs out. Dogs attack. You know how many times I, I was chased, my sister was chased by dogs at that time in the morning? So, and my father would protect us. So that's the reason why she's so afraid of animals, mostly dogs.